What's up guys and welcome to my rigging station. This is where we film Captain Mike's rigging station, our new instructional series. Hopefully you've caught season one on Valley Sports. We're now wrapping up and working diligently on episodes for 2024. Um, and that'll be starting in January on Bally's, as I mentioned. Of course, all of the episodes will also be ultimately on our YouTube channel and immediately on Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus, uh, where members get to see all of this content first. Um, but that's a different story. You know, here I am. It's been a long week. We've been out there doing a lot of Wahoo fishing aboard our new Sea Hunter 41 CTS, getting the boat dialed in. It's, of course, our first Wahoo season with the boat and really our first Wahoo two weeks with the boat. We've had some success. We've hooked quite a few fish. We lost a few nice fish due to some just, uh, I'll call it stupid mistakes, but it happens. One fish was, you know, was still dark. It was very, very dark early, early in the morning, got crossed up on another line, and well, you know the end result of that. Another fish, angler went into low gear on the reel for no apparent reason at the time. Fish caught up with the boat, slack line, shook its head. That was the end of that. Um, but it, you know, I, I mentioned that to you because I want to talk to you just real quick here about our trolling methods. You guys know that we're a little bit untraditional, you know, down here. Everybody high speed trolls for Wahoo with the trolling leads and the high speed lures. And it's such a cool tactic. It's so effective, especially over in the Bahamas, uh, the southeast coast. And even here in the Keys, we've caught a lot of Wahoo high speed trolling. So if that's something that you're doing and it's working, certainly stick with it. Um, we like to fish the plugs, and I'm always looking for new and innovative ways to enhance my spread. And understand, look, I've got bucketfuls, not one bucket, multiple bucketfuls of Nomad DTX minnows, Nomad Mad Max, um, and most recently, a new bait, not a new bait, but a new variation of a bait is... Ah, let me get that. Sorry about that. Is this Mad Scad 190? And they've had the Mad Scad before, but what's cool about this is it has the auto tune system right there. And, the, you know, right there, you could see it in the front of the bait. It's that same auto tune system that the DTX minnows have. And that allows this lure to be trolled at up to, are you ready for this? 25 miles an hour. 25 miles an hour, you control that bait and it'll track in the water, won't be popping out of the water, and it'll swim exactly the way you expect it to. Okay, right out of the package. No matter if you rig it on heavy mono or single strand wire, I might put some, uh, I don't know, maybe 175 multi-strand cable on here, or whatever it may be. But it's a really cool lure, and I'm thinking of ways to introducing it into my spread, because I know it's gonna swim perfectly at 10 miles an hour, 12 miles an hour, and that's the speed where I'm pulling my DTX minnows, where I'm having the most effect with the DTS, DTX minnows, the 165s, the 200s, the 220s, is all in that 10 to 12 mile an hour range. Um, and by the way, all of the colors work. They eat them all. As long as the lure is tracking properly and swimming properly, you're going to catch them. You know, it doesn't matter the color. Um, but there was another bait that was recently introduced as well. And again, I wanted to show you this one. This is the DTX 180. Okay, unlike the 165, another small, there we go, another small statued bait right there, and it's caught a lot of fish. This swims way back behind the boat, 330, sometimes even more feet back, swims right below the surface. It's a small profile bait. Blackfin tuna seem to love it. Wahoos love it. The difference with the DTX 180, it's got a little bit of a bigger body. You can see that right there. That's the 180. That's the 165. So you can see that the 180 definitely has a wider, bigger profile. So it's a little bit of a larger target. More importantly, it has a smaller lip than the 165. Look at those. We kind of compare those. Okay. And because it has a smaller lip than that 165, there's less water pressure on there. And combined with the size, shape of the body, the position of the auto-tune connection point, you can also pull that bait at close to 18 miles an hour. So these lures are really designed for high speed, but they have a wide range 
a wide range, you know, like I said, you could pull them at six miles an hour if that's what works for you. And the fish will hit them, you know, at, at all of the different speeds. Guys, there's so much more to talk about these deep diving plugs, to talk about the tackle that we fish with these. And I want you to be as effective as you can Wahoo fishing. I encourage you to check out our Wahoo seminars, check, all, check out all of our you know, Wahoo shows on Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus. Again, that's fsftv.com. There's no YouTube ads. Uh, just a really easy to navigate video vault where you can catch hundreds of instructional videos that are gonna help you be a more successful angler and help you shorten the learning curve. I also wanna mention everybody, our new season of Florida Sport Fishing TV. That's starting in January on Sportsman Channel. So we're super stoked. We got two TV series that are both starting in January on two different networks. So a lot going on. Of course, also just recently took possession of our 41 CTS and Wahoo fishing a lot right now on that boat. Um, what an incredible ride. I know I promised everybody that we were going to release a very comprehensive walkthrough from bow to stern. And we are. We are. I, I just, you know, a little quirk came up in the production of it. I feel like we could do it better. I want to do it better. That's the truth. I, you know, I think it could just be really five star. So I need just a little bit more time. We're going to ask you for about one more week, but I promise you before the holidays, uh, you're going to get to see that video. So sorry about that delay, but I promise it'll be worth it. So that's it. A lot going on. Our lodge here in Marathon in the Florida Keys. We're waiting for our building permit, all the blueprints and you know, everything are done. We're super stoked about that. And we'll really be able to enhance the entire experience. That's what this is about. It's about you. It's about teaching you, making you a more successful angler. And if I can make it more convenient for you to get down here and stay down here, certainly we'll be able to help a lot more people. Um, but that's going to debut January 2025, you know, knock on wood. In the meantime, we've got a lot of fish to catch, a lot of techniques to cover, a lot of cool stuff going on. So again, stay tuned. The boat review will be out in a week. And make sure, guys, as I mentioned, check out Florida Sport Fishing TV Plus. So much to learn about these DTX minnows, about the Mad Max. Um, you know, all of these nomad lures are so incredibly effective. Wahoo fishing, but it's all in the details. It's you know, patience, perseverance you know, and a lot of preparation, and that's going to prevent poor performance, I promise you that. So check it all out, and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon and getting out there and getting hooked up.